What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Not gonna lie to you, I'm a little frightened right now. Haven't even lived here a week yet and there's already a hurricane heading right towards my house. Hurricane Laura. I think they should have called her Hurricane Karen. You'll probably see this video in the future. So uh, if this is my last video, guys, you know what happened. My life savings investment was the death of me. When we examine our diets and we look at the foods that cause us problems, it'd be hard pressed to find a list that didn't have cookies sitting right at the top. Much like Santa Claus, I love me a cookie. But the problem with them is they're loaded with sugar and you can't, you're not just gonna eat one. You're gonna eat every single one that's on the plate. So in today's video, we're gonna make a batch of cookies and you don't even gotta feel the tiniest bit of guilt when you down the entire batch. In today's video, we will be making anabolic peanut butter cookies. All that great peanut butter flavor and that sweetness of a regular peanut butter cookie, except these ones are loaded with protein and they ain't gonna make you hate yourself after you eat the whole batch. Gooey, creamy, delicious, minimal ingredients and ready in under 10 minutes. I'm telling you, give this one a shot and I promise you're gonna love it. I guarantee it. As always, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description. It's been updated. This recipe is in there along with every other one of my dessert recipes. You want to make flurry? You want a blizzard? You don't want to hate yourself after you eat it? Then this book could change your life, man. Handy little guide right in your pocket. All the ingredients, all the measurements, all the calories, all the macros, high in protein. You're going to be anabolic all freaking day. You get it one time, you get every future recipe update for free, guys. I'm telling you, it's a steal. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! First thing we're gonna do is grab a food scale and a mixing bowl. If you try to do this without a food scale, it's like navigating the Amazon without a map. You're gonna get eaten by a lion. The first ingredient we are going to put in our mixing bowl is 64 grams of PB Fit powder. I can't say it enough, man. If you're trying to stay anabolic, but you still want nuts, drop the regular peanut butter. It's not worth it. Too many calories, too much fat. You get this, you get all the flavor, all the protein, all the benefits without all the extra calories, man. Trust me, I'm a marine biologist. And then in order to get this the same consistency as peanut butter, we're gonna toss in 85 grams of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. It's gonna thicken it up, give it that consistency while adding even more protein and none of the fat. It's a win-win, my guy. It's a win-win. And then finally, we just wanna add about 35 grams of water. Too much, it's gonna be too runny. We want just enough. Now I'm just gonna go in with a spoon and mix it all up until it reconstitutes. And once you've mixed it for a couple minutes, it should be thick and have a peanut butter consistency. Now we're just gonna add 31 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. As always, I got that final boss cinnamon toast swirl. In my opinion, this protein is a little sweeter than your standard vanilla. So I think with these recipes, it adds that nice little kick, that mm, that really brings these over the top. Next, we're gonna add about 14 grams of coconut flour. We get lots of fiber with this stuff, guys. It's gonna help these expand while also keeping us full. Can't really argue with either one of them. Now we just need to add about 10 grams of a zero calorie sweetener. I buy sucralose, the great value big bag, the knockoff. Don't be scared of this stuff, guys. There's no bad side effects. Well, there is one thing I do feel obligated to mention. I had spilled some on the floor and I just kind of threw it out in my backyard. The next day, all the bugs in my backyard were the size of small rodents. I had to fight off a lawn beetle with a baseball bat. But other than that, I've really noticed nothing. Now to add some sweetness with no sugar, I'm gonna throw in 21 grams of sugar-free imitation honey. This stuff's great, guys. A little bit goes a long way and it makes your cookies shine. I don't know about you guys, but I was raised to like my things shiny. And then last but not least, we need about three grams of baking powder because we are baking. And now that all of our ingredients are in the bowl, we just gotta go in once again and mix everything up. And once you mixed it up, it should be really thick and have a cookie dough light consistency. And seriously, man, if you taste this, if you just take a little bit of this batter and mm, 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 ooh, it legit tastes just like peanut butter cookie dough and that's how you know we have a winner. Now we're just gonna lay out a baking pan, slap a piece of foil on her, hit it with nonstick, and all we're gonna do is scoop out a little bit of our dough and lay it out into little piles on our pan. You can make a few big ones, you can make a bunch of little ones, it really doesn't matter. And a little heads up, this dough is sticky, so I like to just bring it over, use my fingers, and get that ball placed right on there. Sometimes you gotta get a little messy, but that's the name of the animal anabolic game. Plus you get to lick your fingers afterward. And once you got them all laid out, I like to go in with my spoon here and just flatten them out a little bit, you know? Nothing too crazy, just make them look pretty. If you're gonna leave the house, you might as well shave, might as well put on a decent t-shirt.
And once our cookies are all on the baking sheet and looking pretty, all we gotta do is throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes. Five will yield a softer cookie, seven a little more crunchy. Can't really go wrong with either. Throw them in, whoop, set up time. And ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, it's cookie time. And boom, after about five minutes in the oven, our anabolic peanut butter cookies are finished. Not only do these smell incredible, but I'm gonna show you guys the texture of these just so you can see. So normally we do a cut test. Today we're gonna do a good old fashioned cookie tear test. Take this one right down the middle. Ooh, baby. Get a look at that, man. See how it's still soft on the inside? Not too dry, not too chewy like most protein cookies. I'm telling you, man, that right there is how you want it. Creamy, peanut buttery, delicious. Just be careful. If you feed these to your girlfriend, she just might wake up with a beer. All right, guys, we've been staring at long enough I think it's time to pull up a chair strap on the old feed bag and try these things together you guys ready let's go all right guys let's get this show on the road man I'm always excited to eat cookies on camera with my favorite people since we are eating cookies I am going to keep that doctor away real quick and take a scoop of final boss green I don't think it's necessary but hashtag health is what they keep telling me so I'm gonna keep doing it. dry scoop mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't taste good, but it's better than eating a plate of broccoli, plate of asparagus. This way, we get it done and over with. Available at FinalBossForms.com, Amazon.com, free to shipping, code RGF10, 10% merch, link in description, FinalBossAthletics.com. I think that covered all of it. All right, let's get in here, get a cookie. I'll show you that one right on top, right there. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. They're peanut buttery, but they're also sweet. They're moist, they're gooey, literally uh, everything you want in a peanut butter cookie, man. Mm -hmm. This low key might be my new uh, favorite cookie recipe we make on this channel. I'm gonna keep making them, keep adding them to the cookbook, but as of right now, I think this one holds the uh, crown. Oh, no, no. That really is the perfect blend of ingredients. This, These are just, oh my goodness. Oh, no. I just can't get over how moist they are. How they just like, it like turns into peanut butter in your mouth, yet yeah, it's a cookie. You know what I mean? You can toss it around, it's not going anywhere. It's a cookie. But yeah, you take a bite. Oh, no. And it turns into peanut butter in your mouth. I'm not sure what kind of witchcraft we're whipping up in this kitchen, but bud, we're on to something. You even talk like you got peanut butter in your mouth, man. Now with this recipe, I made 10 smaller cookies. But you can do whatever you want, man. You can make five medium-sized ones. You can make three massive ones. You can take the ingredients from the recipe, double them, triple them, make three batches at a time, put them in meal prep containers, throw them in your fridge, and that's a meal every day. One of your meals on your meal plan can be anabolic peanut butter cookies. Screw buying the protein bars, bud. Make these, you're gonna have better macros. You have more protein. You're gonna have more fiber, it's gonna taste better. And you made it yourself, bud. It's got that secret ingredient in it. Love. And if there's one thing that increases fat burning and gains, it's uh, that secret ingredient. Which is why every time my girlfriend cooks for me, I lose gains. It's lacking that special something. But compare these to a regular batch of peanut butter cookies where you're throwing a cup of sugar in there, full fat peanut butter. You down 2,000 calories before you even realize it. Maybe more, depending on who's making them, depending on the recipe. But with this, you're keeping the calories tight. You're getting the protein in there. You're staying anabolic, man. I always say the only two goals you should have every single day. Hit your calorie goal and hit your protein goal. That's it. That's the anabolic diet in a nutshell. Eat what you want. Eat whatever you want. No such thing as bad foods. Just follow those two rules and you can't lose, baby. So in this entire recipe, if you made it exactly how I did, every ingredient, every measurement, for all 10 cookies, the whole thing, you end up with 567 calories, only 11 grams of fat, 66 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of fiber. You really don't get much better than that, man. If I ate three batches of these cookies, so if I ate 30 cookies today, I'd still have 1,000 calories left in my day and I would have already hit my protein goal and my fiber goal. Easy. That's the thing, man. Dieting doesn't have to be tough. Eat the foods you love. Plan ahead a little bit. Get in that kitchen. Whip something up and you're going to see results. I guarantee it. It ain't rocket science, people. It really ain't. Home. And then there was three. Home. Now there's two. Protein and fiber combo here, bud. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty full. I'm going to be completely satisfied after I eat these. Not going to want anything else other than maybe a drink of water. Take one last look, bud. Home. For real, you got to make this recipe. Tag me on Instagram. Put it on your story. Let me see it. Let me know what you think. Cause this thing, I mean, it's a game changer, bud. And as always, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, this recipe's in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes, exact macros broken down, exact calories, the same way I tell you guys in this video and I list everything out. It's all in here with a handy step-by-step -step guide and literally tells you everything you need to do. It's all right here. You can make your own meal plan. Watch my video on that if you haven't yet. When you eat what you want, you're not following some crazy fad diet. There's no foods that are off limits. If you want a pizza, you can eat a pizza. If you want cookies, you can have cookies. How do you fail on that, man? How do you fail? That's what I thought. And if all this is confusing and you'd 
rather me just uh, make you a plan. You fill out a questionnaire, I put something down for you, tell you what to weigh out, what to eat, how to do it. And you know if you follow, you're gonna see results. Check out my site, RemingtonJamesFitness.com, my personal trainer, I can make you a plan. I'll work with you in any capacity you want. You just gotta put the work in. You just gotta show up and get it done. Don't make excuses, and I guarantee your results. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Comment anything down below. What recipe do you wanna see? How was Logan looking? We baked something, I got to throw him in. Are you seeing results with this diet? Let me know down below, love to see it. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I'm gonna get used to this chair not sliding here soon. I'm gonna get used to it. I guarantee it.